All right, and finally, we are joined by head coach Oscar Pereja. Oscar, thank you for the time. As always, if you can just start us off with your initial thoughts following the match. All right. Uh, a game with uh, two different halves. And, uh, we come from the night to the date, and it was unacceptable the way we played in the first half. And this is uh, me taking that responsibility first. And uh, and the way we came up and uh, and those uh, especially first thirty minutes, uh, second half much better. I thought it was uh, the team that we want to see. The reaction it was uh, um, very good from um, from our players. Uh, we could tie the game and then at the end uh, in that last play they they scored a four goal, but. Uh, I stay with that reaction from the players. That's that's uh, more ourselves, and just try to continue with with that energy. Because as I say, the first half uh, it was unacceptable. We will go ahead next to Austin. Oscar, just obviously the the moment Mason goes down and has to to come off is it's a very mentally challenging moment. Um, how do you rally a team after? Uh, seeing their their player and their their teammate go down like that in such a way and and to be able to to come back in the second half and uh play the way you wanted them to play right now it was uh a, a very a strong moment and 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 hard for us just to see uh the injury of uh, mason i know our emotions came and and it could be part of uh of that uh, low performance as well. Uh, we don't want to say that because that's not our character, but uh, but we were uh, really sad with what happened on, on, on Mason. Uh, things that the game brings and then we have to deal with, especially at this time when we need him uh, healthier. And, and then Mason was uh, getting through uh, his best moments in the club. Um, many things, many emotions for sure uh, cross to our mind in the, and we don't blame the players it's things that we should manage but uh, but it is difficult indeed We'll go next to Michael Citro Oscar, thanks for your time uh, Despite the, the first half performance, you're still in the game down only one uh, in stoppage time of the first half and then uh, there's a play where Yvonne has uh, a chance to shepherd the ball out over the end line for a goal kick and and gives it up and uh, and give up the second goal. It it's not the first time we've seen this type of play this year, but uh, obviously it hurt the team pretty badly in this situation. Is there something you'd like to see Yvonne do differently in that situation, or something you would you would coach him up to do differently the next time this happens? Right, right, for sure. Uh, there was a bunch of. Uh, plays in the first half that uh, we did not recognize ourselves, um, especially in the moments that we needed to defend way much better than that and and make better decisions. Uh, it, it, it was uh, it, it was disappointing for ourselves. And I say this is uh, me taking that uh, responsibility first, and and uh, but we address it in in the half. Uh, I think our reaction changed it and. Uh, the way we approached the game, it was different. The second half was much, much more professional. In the first half, we just commit those mistakes that just put us in a very, very difficult position. Next, we'll go to Mike Romajo. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, Profe, um, obviously not the result you guys were, were looking to get out tonight. It, it's funny how football is because, you know, initially the team was struggling offensively and it looks like you guys have found, are, are able to now find those goals. But on the other side, defensively, it looks like the struggles are are, are starting to creep up. How, I guess, how do, how do you kind of now kind of tackle that issue and, and, and to make sure the team is well balanced out for, for a complete 90 minutes? Well, I don't know any other answer about uh, uh, that question, that working and training and recognizing uh, first uh, collectively, and that has to come from uh, as a, as a coaches and, and, and me 
uh, just trying uh, uh, to set the trainings and 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 sections and whatever they needs to be uh, to get that better. And also just try uh, to get better in um, in the individual. Those those plays that we saw in the first half, uh, it shouldn't shouldn't happen to us. It's uh, the game was far from us, but it was it was in 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 our blame. They were, we we should have been making better decisions than what we did. Next, we have uh, Chris Cuff in the room. Chris, you can go ahead. Oscar, thank you for taking my mm -hmm. question. Um, first, I wanted to ask you after that first half, um, the devastating injury to Mason, the two goals at the in the uh, final minutes. What did you say? to the boys in the locker room uh, to get them back on point and back in focus? Right, well, the first thing is uh, recognize that it was a half that uh, we didn't want it to repeat ever. And and with those errors and those mistakes that we made. Um, and second, just recognize that we had time and we have a half and uh, that we have the spirit and we have the energy and the collective effort it will bring us back to the game. Uh, I knew in those moments, in those moments, that our mind was more with Jason that um, with Mason than with anybody else. Uh, but trying to overcome that with uh, the collective energy was our responsibility. Uh, even playing for Mason and 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 all what he represents to the club and to the group. Uh, and I was uh, very proud to see how the group respond, this is despite of these uh, challenges that we're getting through, and uh, and that unexpected injury, uh, and terrible injury. That that I'm still say, I want to say this. I think the uh, uh, whether it's the FIFA or uh, they need to uh, get better at this ruling of just allow the when when the um, upside is very obvious. I think they need to flag the uh the play this is a very unnecessary uh, play just to let it go and and uh, and then we can avoid a lot of injuries and today this it was a demonstration that we could we could do better and and the game we're rolling these these things out I, I i think it's it happens in many other games that when it's very obvious when the ball is and 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 the and the guys in an offside i don't know what is the necessity just to let it go uh, they need to flag it, so we stop the game. We'll go back to Michael Citro. Oscar, you were able to get some uh, important minutes for young guys. Uh, obviously, um, Javi had to come on for Mason and get his first MLS minutes, and and Giorgio uh, played uh, the whole second half and, and and helped set up that that first goal. Um, can you just give your thoughts on on how those two young guys uh, sort of uh, acquitted themselves today? I think that both of them uh, lift us, uh, uh, especially in that uh, middle of the field with uh, Gio, his personality and the way he interact with Cesar and and he, he he glued us together. I think he did a very good job in the second half, uh, helping us just to uh, uh, cover the spaces. And I, I know we are... Uh, uh, I put in uh, Nico there, but uh, Nick was trying to do his best in position. And but today, Nick uh, Gio just really uh, pushes in the second half. He was very good, and 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 Otero is uh, showing that he's getting mature and and he's getting much better. His leadership in the second team is is outstanding, and and today we see that in the goal. Finally, we will wrap up with uh, Austin David. Oscar, obviously, you had the highs of, of Chicago's win and now the lows of this game. How do you kind of recover quickly knowing that you play a midweek game uh, on the road again on Wednesday? Uh, the way we do it when we win, uh, Austin, we need to work tomorrow. We need to get better. We need to prepare our game. Uh, our routines and trying to be mentally healthy as well. Just trying to record our emotions and be prepared for the next match. I, I, I don't know any other way.